Okay, so I have one post notched up and it seems to fit pretty well. Too bad we don't have a TIG welder because flux core welding does not do this justice. Look how perfect that is. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Ain't that beautiful? Takes a little bit of time to do, but it's worth the effort. We'll get the other side done and we can weld in the roll cage to the chassis. Okay, so I got the driver's side post done and it fits pretty well. And so what's next is to weld them into place. And once we weld them, um, once we weld the four corners, the roll cage should be attached to the chassis. There's a few more, there's two more posts that I have to make up in front that goes from this base plate to somewhere around here so um, we're just gonna weld in the four corners and um, that'll be it for the roll cage for now um, and then we're gonna start uh, making our body panels and I already have a few parts over there the hood the two fenders the two door skins so I'm going to start work on that um, but let's go ahead and weld this and we can move the car back outside that we're making we're going from this point here on the inside and on the inside to about this point so that's the angle of that post so uh, we're gonna mark a line where we're gonna cut it here that's parallel with the base I think we should cut this first and then we'll notch we'll mark the top of it all right so we chopped the end of our tubing so that it will sit at the right angle and then uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to mark off the contour at the top I'm going to mark this about right here alright so we got our post notched up and we're ready to weld it into place. So I got the two front posts welded in. That's it for the roll cage right now. I'm not, I don't want to do any more um, welding right now until I have the new body panels kind of mocked up to the car so I can see where uh, any more reinforcements are needed. All right, so let's put it through some rigors of testing. Visual check, visual check, uh, uh, we'll give it a C plus. You know, it doesn't look the best. Or the wells need to be grinded down a little bit but it passes it looks like it'll hold up let's give it a good old push and pull test which is the side load thrust test push and pull test side load it works push and pull test officially passes Using my twerking abilities to 
put some load on top of the roll cage and it's good it passes Pass me my beer. Mmm. Let's get the hell off this thing. My ribs. Let's go ahead and put in the battery so we can get this started. First, the negative. All right, let's crank this thing and see if she twerks. We're gonna start it up and we're gonna move it outside so that we can make room. All right, let's see here. I really hope it starts up. I hope it just starts right on up. All right, let's see, I doubt it. Houston, we got problems, Houston. Help me, Houston. Let's see what's disconnected that is vital to the ignition starting. I'm gonna look around. Give me a minute. Okay, I think I found the problem. When we were cutting the roof off, I think uh, we accidentally sliced through some of the wiring harness. Um, I'm not sure what this wiring harness is for, but I'm going to put it back together and see if it will start. You get a sleeve. You get a sleeve. Everybody gets a sleeve. That's how you solder. Baby, baby. Alright, I got the wires put back together. Let's try her up one more time. Outside. 